works as someone who lives, breathes, and sleeps gymnastics. She's promised she's going to come on in a double backflip, finishing with a... Yeah? No, okay, no, you don't have to, don't worry. Uh, dislikes rhubarb and the colour yellow, so I'm guessing that rhubarb and custard, twice as bad? Getting all these food problems here. Right, no, celery, fish, rhubarb and custard, got it. Uh, she's from Chosen Hill School. <laughs> Seriously, how can these banners get bigger and bigger? <laughs> Hold that up again, look at the one, you will in a second. As you go wild, for Beth Brown! <laughs> So, uh, you, you've done all your, your research, which was uh, fantastic. I'm curious as to what the most interesting or unexpected thing you discovered during your research was. I think it's really strange how fish can not know that they're thirsty, so they just drink water without them even knowing it. And it, it, through their, their gills, does it go through their mouths? Yeah, yeah, it, um, through their gills, because if it went through their mouths, then... Um, the salt would dilute their blood and death. <laughs> <laughs> um, a great title for the talk. What made you choose it? Like, why are you interested in fish got thirsty? Um, well, um, first of all, my brain's really weird. So I have <laughs> a lot of questions about um, how the world works. Um, and I just, because um, animals, they're such interesting creatures. And you can't truly know how they feel. So I thought it was interesting because we live all around water, and I was just interested whether they even knew they were drinking. Well, thank you for your curiosity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 